All right, here's some uh, different picking techniques you can do. Uh, your basic, your, since we're, we're on the topic of rock music, we just showed you how to hold your pick. It's like a pencil here. Now if we're just doing one chord. You don't want to hit too low. You want to kind of just glide over the strings. I'm using my palm to mute the strings after I hit a note or a chord. Sometimes you can, all you do is just, you always want to keep your hand about parallel with the bridge right here. Kind of reference. Yep. That's the easiest way to mute. Then if you're doing uh, an up and down picking, it's the same, same process. Without the, the amp actually on, you don't want to hit them too hard, you know, just basically going over the strings. And that's a very popular strum right there. It's down, down, up, up, down. That's millions of songs right there. rock music or country or anything that's like a basic strum 101 down down up up down okay so a couple other picking techniques we can do is palm muting uh, actually let's do alternate picking first alternate picking is on it's just like that strum but it's only on one string so it's down up down up down up so it it'll make you go a lot faster rather than trying to do that all downstrokes. Efficient way to pick, huh? Exactly. You want to go up and down, and the best practice is just take your, you know, simple scale. And just keep doing that. You don't know any scales. You just do yeah, like that. After a while, you know, your your hand will get a memory of its of its own, so it'll know where each string is. Okay, then we got palm muting. Palm muting is just like we keep our, our hand parallel with the, uh, the bridge, but you just bring it on the strings just a little bit, right in front of the bridge. And you don't want to press down too hard because it won't get any note at all, and you don't want to get too high up. So there's nothing. You want it just a little bit in front of the bridge. trick is with metal you're gonna bring it up and bring it back a lot. See how I'm lifting up on certain certain uh, chords. close to that you keep your pick just so you got pretty much no pick all yeah, time. Your, it's your pick is hitting the string 
but your thumb is right on the string as well, making an artificial harmonic. Do it again. Turn this way a little bit. Another way. Distortion on your amp for that stuff too. You can't really. So it's like that, you're pinching the string between the the pick and your thumb, kind of. Yeah, that's. I think that's how the term came about. Right. And depending on where you hit it back here, I was gonna change the frequency of your harmonic. See, that's all the same fretted note I was hitting, but if I move in between the two pickups. harmonics and next thing is a pick slide They're pretty cool what we do is pick on the strings you can go up or you can go down and if uh, you can also do like a pick slide to kind of make it sound like a DJ Uh, same philosophy too. Depending on where you're at between the pickups, it kind of changes the frequency. You can get creative with that. So I think that's about it for the picking.